Next at four, while a sweeping bill to legalize adult use of marijuana is moving through the state Senate, the state house is struggling to pass a bill to increase how much marijuana someone can possess without a criminal penalty. Now, the bill caused a revolt of usually loyal House Democrats last week. As Daryl Huff reports, that's a bad sign for those hoping for major marijuana reform this year. I urge members, take a deep breath, it's okay, and vote yes. House Judiciary Chairman David Tarnas implored Democrats to support his bill, HB 1956. It would change the law to allow users to carry up to an ounce of marijuana and face only a non-criminal violation and $25 fine. It easily passed his committee, but ran into serious opposition on what should have been a slam dunk vote to pass it to the next committee. Representative Souza. No vote, thank you. So ordered. Representative Kong. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, no vote. So ordered. Representative Keela. No vote, Mr. Speaker. One ounce is a lot of mar marijuana. One ounce is about 50 to 60 joints. I'm concerned about what we're saying to our youth. We, we're looking at a, our vaping epidemic. We can't get that under control by saying that this up to a, an ounce is decriminalized, ultimately saying you're not going to get in trouble other than a $25 fee. But it leads to many different things, and there's many people died fr from um, illegal drugs on the street. Pro-cannabis reformers say Hawaii is now behind many states with laws that unnecessarily put people in jail. With this decriminalization, I think that we can also take away the enforcement issues that we're facing at HPD with going after all of these other crimes. If we take cannabis off of those that list, they can focus on the hardcore drugs. Jailing people for smoking a plant is what destroys lives. Keeping people in jail, continuing to, to detain them, is what destroys families. Critics say there are few people jailed for simple possession alone. The bill would also make it no longer a crime for a person under 21 to provide drug paraphernalia, like a vape pen or pipe, even to someone underage. The attorney general fought that at the bill's hearing. What we're afraid of is 18, 19, and 20-year-olds being able to freely distribute drug paraphernalia to, to much younger children, 12-year-olds, 10-year-olds, and basically prol proliferate the use of this drug paraphernalia by a much more vulnerable group of users. If we were to take a harm reduction approach to dealing with our substance abuse issues within the state, in fact, this is the best thing we can do, is to decriminalize cannabis. But after 14 members, a third of the House voted against just moving the bill to the Finance Committee. Leaders may decide the marijuana issue is too big a distraction in a year that the Maui disaster demands their full attention. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you very much.